So in the previous video, what we were doing was expanding 1 plus x squared or cubed or to the power 4. But that only gets you so far. We want to generalise this. So we're going to instead look at a plus b to the power 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Uh, because then we can replace the a with whatever we want. We can replace the b with whatever we want. And then we can expand these out. Okay, very quickly. So a plus b to the 0 is just 1. Okay, anything to the power of 0 is just 1. a plus b to the power of 1 is just a plus b. Okay, it remains exactly the same. a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. a plus b cubed is a cubed plus 3ab squared. Um, or I should put a squared b, rather. Plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So here, we now want to identify how this is relating to Pascal's triangle. Because we have 1, then we have 1a plus 1b, so 1, 1. Then 1, 2, 1. Then 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay? So it's directly relating itself to those first four rows. Okay? Now, you also need to spot the other patterns that are going on here. Here we have A reducing in power as we go along, and the Bs increasing in power. Okay, So the As are decreasing, the Bs are increasing. And on top of that, the powers of each of the elements, so 3, 2 and 1, 1 and 2, and 3, each time adds up to 3. Okay? This number here, that is also very important. So, in writing out a plus b to the power of 4, this would be 1 lot of a to the 4, plus 4, a reduces in power, b increases in power, then 6, a reduces in power, b increases in power, then 4, a reduces in power, b increases in power, and then finally, b to the power of 4. Okay, so the a reduces in power, we've got the 1, so 1, a reduces in power, b increases in power. So I just have b to the 4 on the end. So if then I want to write down, well, what is a plus b to the power of 7? Well, that would be a to the 7 plus... 7, A reduces in power, B increases in power, plus 21, A reduces in power, B increases in power. Notice how we've got 6 and 1 is 7, 5 and 2 is 7. Then we would have 35, A to the 4, B cubed, so A decreases, B increases. Then we would have 35, a decreases, B increases. Ooh, yeah. Then we've got 21. A decreases, B increases. Then 7. A decreases, B increases. And then finally, one lot of A to the 0, B to the 7. So just B to the 7. Okay? And this allows me to now expand things very, very quickly. And we're going to see an example of how we can then use these expansions in the next video.